Six years ago, I wanted to punch my economics professor in the face. Let me tell you why. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com and let's dive right into the video. It will change your life. So six years ago, I wanted to punch my economics professor in the face. I was a freshman in college, and I wanted to know why we couldn't audit the Federal Reserve. I thought that was a rational question in an economics class. He told me to be quiet and memorize my textbook, and I was so angry. And as I was walking out of class, I turned to one of my buddies, Tyler, and I said, dude, I quit. I quit. There's no reason for me to be here. We aren't learning anything. He's making me memorize this stuff. I want to talk about our future. I'm going to go be an author. That was a crazy idea for me to go be an author, just to take you back. I was a total jock. I only passed classes because I cheated. I didn't do well on any of my exams and I got into school because of basketball and I got kicked out of my junior English class in high school and then I was gonna be an author. It made no sense. It maybe you have a dream and it makes no sense and you're sitting somewhere in your life kind of like I was sitting in economics class and I was just angry. I was like, what am I doing here? Or maybe you're sitting somewhere and you're frustrated because you feel like parts of your potential in your dream are, are, are left just totally untapped and, and you aren't able to pursue that. And I said, I'm gonna do this thing. And it was terrifying because I lost every single one of my friends pretty much. Um, all of my best friends started making fun of me at parties and they thought I was crazy. Um, everyone was talking behind my back about how I lost my mind. And it was terrifying, you know, but I say a lot of times that the point of the tribe is to learn to leave it. And so it ended up being this great experience for me to learn and, you know, it was terrifying because we're programmed with the idea, and maybe you can relate to this, I'm sure everyone can. We're programmed with the idea that we need to follow what everyone else does. You do this, you do this, and this is how you become rich, and this is how you become happy, and this is how you become successful. Give up on your dreams. Don't go out on your own. Don't start your own entrepreneurial endeavor. It's not safe. You know, you need to do this if you wanna be rich and successful. It's the prescribed path of society. But let's break it down for a minute. 75% of Americans said they're actively disengaged from their jobs. That's a politically correct way to say I hate this shit. And about 60% of people are living paycheck to paycheck. The majority of people are following the prescribed path because we're sold the idea that if we follow this path, then we're going to be rich and successful. But the reality is everybody following that path is pretty much unhappy with it and they're struggling financially. But we give up our dreams. This prescribed path is at the expense of our dreams. And I'm not saying don't get a job. I'm not saying don't pursue your dreams. What I am saying is, what is your long-term vision for your life? Because most people follow the prescribed path and they never give any thought to their real vision. They're gambling on the biggest risk of all, the bet that one day they're gonna buy back the time that they wasted chasing money and a false sense of security that for most people never actually comes, according to the stats. And so my question to you is, what is your dream? People are gonna laugh at you, they're gonna call you crazy, they're gonna tell you you can't make any money, they told me that, now I make more money than I can even spend. It doesn't make any sense what they tell us. And so the question is, what is your dream? What is your plan? You may be somewhere where you don't wanna be, but what's your plan to get out of it in six months or 12 months or 24 months? What's your vision for your life? Because every person has a dream inside of them. Every person has a song to sing. Wayne Dyer said, don't die with your music inside of you. Don't die with your dream inside of you. There's a reason the cemetery is the richest place in the world. And that's because everybody dies with their dream inside of them because they're told, don't follow your dream. Don't be an artist. Don't start your own business. Don't do this. Don't do that. No, 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 that's not a good idea. It's not gonna work out for you. Do this, do this. Here are your choices. Do this. This is the safest option for you. And then they get to the end of their life and they're like, damn, I wasted my whole life. There's a Leo Tolstoy short story, The Death of Ivan Illis. And in that, the book starts and he's on his deathbed. 
and he says to his wife, what if my whole life was wrong? And the truth is, if you're facing opposition, if you're afraid, people call you crazy, they laugh at you, they're mean to you, it happened to me. The reason they do that is because people are afraid. They're afraid that their whole life is wrong. They're afraid that they're gambling on the biggest risk of all, that one day they're gonna have the time to actually create a life that they love. And in response, they may be belittling you. They may do that. But the real question is, what dream is inside of you? You owe it to yourself. You have one life. You're spinning on a tiny little rock through infinite space. WTF. Nobody knows what they're doing. And so the real question is, what's going to make you happy? What's going to make you fulfilled? What's going to make you feel like you gave life your all? Go and do that thing. Do not settle. You may need to take some jobs you don't want. Ashton Kutcher tells his beautiful um, uh, award-winning speech about working all these odd jobs and mopping the floors. And they were all stepping stones that allowed him to pursue his dream career in acting. You may have those things, but don't give up on your dream. Have the larger vision. It's there for you where everyone is going to be called crazy. Everybody is going to feel afraid. Everybody is going to be challenged. And the question is, is what you're giving your energy to worth your limited time on planet Earth? This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com telling you that you got a big dream inside of you. And people are going to laugh at you. They're going to belittle you. Everybody is afraid. Nobody knows what they're doing. Follow your heart. Your intuition is God speaking to you. That little voice knows best. All the other voices are white noise. Download my free success hypnosis down below, jakeshypnosis.com to get rid of all those limiting beliefs and silly negative voices from other people and program yourself for success, for abundance, for prosperity. It's jakeshypnosis.com right there. Press the subscribe button in the corner and like this video. Press like because that's what notifies more people. My mission with this channel is to create a more inspired world. When you press like, when you subscribe, it's, it sends the YouTube algorithm to let more people know about the video. So press like, comment where in the world you're coming from. Be sure you hit the bell notification when you subscribe because that's what actually alerts you of the videos. I have a beautiful day. I'm wishing you well. You're going to be afraid sometimes. You're going to be scared sometimes. But I promise you, you will be so fulfilled when you say yes to your dreams.